Hello ladies and gentle ladies and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.21 and in this tutorial we are going to be creating recipes. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to be using Datagen once again since it simplifies this whole process but if you would like to make the JSONs yourself I have linked Misode in the description and so that is a great website to create your recipe JSONs if you don't want to use Datagen. But we are going to be using Datagen because it's so much simpler and it will save us a lot of time. So let's go ahead and get started. So inside of our provider package, we're going to create a new class and we are going to call this tutorial mod recipe provider. This class is going to extend the fabric recipe provider class and we are going to implement the methods that it wants which is the generate method and then we also want the constructor as well. So inside of this generate method we can actually add our recipes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a shaped recipe that will craft our item into our block. So that will be nine of our item into one of our block. So the way we do that is we do shaped recipe json builder dot create then we can pass in the recipe category. So I'm going to say recipe category and you can choose any of these categories that you want. So I believe building blocks is probably the correct category here. So that's the one I'm going to use. Then we need to supply the output. So I'm going to use block in it dot example block. And then if you want, you can obviously supply a count. The default is just one. So you can do one if you want, but the default is one, so you don't need to supply that parameter. Then on this, we can choose some different things. So first of all, we're going to want some inputs. So we can say input. Now this needs a character, which will be used as the key. So I'm going to say E as the character here. And then we can supply the item that we want to use for this input. So that can either be an ingredient an item convertible such as a block or an item and then also a item tag as well you can use that too i'm just going to be using an item convertible which will be our item in it example item and you can chain as many different inputs as you want to have different recipes with different patterns and then we can say the pattern so this will define the first row now since this is just going to be a block this pattern is just going to be e e e and then we're going to do pattern again, which will be our second row. So E, E, E. And then we can do pattern again, which will be our third row. Now, it's important to note that let's say you wanted a four by four. Instead, you would do something like this. So you would just leave it with the two spaces on there instead of three. And if you wanted it to always have a, a empty slot there, then you would just actually add a space there. But we're just going to do something like that if you wanted that. Um, but we don't actually want that so let's go back then we can supply a criterion which will basically create the advancement for this recipe so for this we're going to do fabric recipe provider dot has item and we can actually get rid of that since we are extending fabric recipe provider now we can say that it has our item so item in it dot example item and then we can say conditions from item and we can once again pass in that item item in it dot example item so that will effectively say that it needs to have this item and then it will also use the conditions for that item then all we need to do is say offer to and we can offer it to the exporter now if you want you can supply an identifier in here which will be your path so if you do for example tutorial mod dot id then you can supply the path that will be used for this json recipe um, but we don't want that so that will create a shaped recipe then if we want to do shapeless we do the exact same thing so shapeless recipe json builder dot create we once again want the recipe category so this time i'm going to use misc then we are going to say the item so item in it dot example item this time we are going to have a count so that's going to be a count of nine then we can say the input so we can say block in it dot example block and you can also provide a size on that as well which in fact you could probably use shapeless for this one and just say that it has a size of nine but we're just going to keep it shaped just so that we can just so that you know how to create a shaped recipe basically then on this input we're once again going to do the criterion 
So this is going to be exactly the same, but this time with the example block. So we're going to say has item block in it example block, and then we're going to say conditions from item block in it dot example block, and then we're just going to offer that to the exporter. Once again, you can supply that with an identifier if you want, but we're not going to do that. Then we have the smelting recipes that we can do. Now we are going to create a smelting and a blasting recipe, and that will be for all of our ores. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a list of all our different ores. And those are going to be the exact same ores. So for example, we have our example ore, we have our example deep slate, example never and example end. All of those should smelt down into our example item. And so we're just going to create a list of all of those example ores. So I'll show you what I mean. So we'll create a list of item convertible. And I'm just going to call this example ores is equal list dot of. We're going to pass in block in it dot example or then we're going to say block in it dot example deep slate or block in it dot example never or and then block in it dot example end or as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create our recipe and it will use this list to generate them all exactly the same basically. So we'll do blasting first. So we'll say recipe provider dot offer blasting. Then we'll pass in the exporter. Then after that, we need to provide the list of different inputs that it could take. So we'll use example ors. Then we need the recipe category. So I'm just going to say recipe category dot misc. Then it needs the output of this. So that will be item minute dot example item. Then it needs the experience, which is a float. I'm just going to say 1.0, uh, but something more more like maybe 0.2 would be more reasonable. In fact, yeah, we'll stick with 0.2 instead. Then we want the cooking time. Now, since this is blasting, you're going to want a lower number than your smelting. Uh, I'm just going to put about 100. And then finally, it wants the group. And this is basically how it will go ahead and group this recipe. I'm just going to give it an example group. So it will be grouped separately. Then we can do the exact same thing for smelting. So I'm literally going to copy paste this. And I'm going to say offer smelting. There you go, example ores, misc, example item. For the cooking time, that will now be 200 instead, since it's a smelting recipe. And you'll see there are other ones as well, of course. So you have uh, all these other different recipes that you could choose to use. However, that is it for the recipes that we are going to be creating. Now we are going to go into our data gen class and we're going to add this as a provider. So we're going to pack add provider. We're going to go tutorial mod recipe provider colon colon new and then we are going to run our data gen to generate these JSONs for us. There you go. So you'll see that it has written 20 JSON files. So if we go into our generated and into data tutorial mod, you'll now see it has the advancements in here. You'll also see it has the recipes in here. So it's got a bunch of different recipes in there and you can go into any of these and obviously look at them if you want. So now let's go ahead and run the game and we'll see if it works. So if we go into the crafting table and we try and craft our example item into a block, you will see that that has given us a block there and we can craft it straight back into nine of our item. So perfect, our crafting recipes work. Let's try the ores in the furnace. So we're going to try deep slate first and I'm just going to put that in both. And you should see that the blast furnace is much faster since we set the cooking time way higher on that one so you see that's worked and we'll just try it for the other ones as well and you'll see that is working perfectly fine so that is about it for this tutorial i hope you found it useful if you did please do be sure to give it a like and subscribe and if you really found it useful then you can obviously share it around if you have any problems with this tutorial then you can join my discord server which is linked in the description so yeah i will see you in the next one good bye